go up the tier list a little bit. Right. Uh, Those claws are as long as Cloud Sword. It's okay. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Have you seen that? Uh, you seen? I put out a tweet on like uh, Wolf Down Smashing Roy, and they're like super far apart. It's tragic. It is so tragic. <laughs> But, of course, now we have Spargo versus Futon. Game one is going to be Wolf versus Olimar. All right, so I do like the blaster. And, yeah, as you saw right there, he immediately got those picks in off. I'm not going to allow any extra damage coming through. And I like that he's, he's not necessarily too uh, worried about the Pikmin that get latched onto him outside of the white one. And I believe yeah. that he can actually just use the blaster and kill them. Exactly. Or as you just saw, the air for the air. He has a lot of options to get those Pikmin off of Okay, oh, up air connect. Of course, going to be double up air. He's on so good at converting those, those easy damage uh, converts. Yeah, he's got the juggle sit the situation down packed. And wow, trying to test him right there. Are you going to drop shield? Let's find out. Will he charge more smash for you? Ooh, and great fade away from Spargo. Make sure that he didn't get hit by the back air so Shuton tries to make off stage. Okay, but Shuton has the kill set up online. Double purple into blue. And using the wolf flash. Onto the purple pigment. It does kill the purple pigment, but he does get punished. Whoa, what is that tech? We out here second, boy. Okay, he's back onto the stage, so he still has his jump, so nice. You can't take them yeah, all. You can't take them all. all right, I, so I don't even think he was allowed to yeah, take yeah, that one. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that was a technical situation. So, all right, he has the edge guard option here, though. Trying to get the down smash, but he's just like a flutter right above him to get a variant. I mean, that's what makes this matchup a little bit more difficult than, than other, like, uh, recoveries that don't have a hitbox. You can down smash at the ledge, but he's just able to just move around it. Back over here. Picked everywhere, and the purple one's the most annoying because if those hit you, you're gonna get knocked back. But we do see Spargo landing a back throw onto Shuton. The purple Pikmin, of course, is just gonna keep him in tumble and allow Shuton to recover. Right, try to go for that up smash option right there. Didn't work out, but luckily for him, not getting punished either. And the great Nair to try to set something up, but Shuton immediately back on his feet. Going for a Tama Hug, but it doesn't work, but uh, Dash Attack does work. Oh! Ooh, the short flutter into town air? Okay, smash two. Oh, and he sniped ah, him! Ah, ah, ah. He, even if that wasn't enough knockback to kill, he would have died. He's like, yes. how's the wolf going to get up there? Without the second jump, he was definitely right. done. Oh my god. So much damage so quickly. 65, 73, 91. Land, please. Okay, he's able to get his feet back on the stage. So there's but, that. But now he has a red Pikmin getting sent into tumble, putting a little bit more damage on him. 101% parrying and an up tilt. Not enough! Not going to on this light Olimar, really? I mean, light oil there, but he's carrying, you know, he's carrying a purple pigment. Oh, okay, got the four tilt in. We in there. Well, 101 might be down the stock, but maybe he can make something crazy happen. You never know, man. Blue Pikmin putting on just a little bit of damage, but the purple back air, not enough to take the stock, throwing all the Pikmin at Spargo, making it very difficult for him to make it back. Oh, and he did a get up attack, somehow did not get punished for that. And he knew the spacing so well, was not even afraid of that hard sports match coming at him. Right, good dash dance into Nair. Now Spargo gets forward air into an up air. Okay, okay, we're making something happen right here. And the down smash didn't reach us so far. I think that Pikmin actually extended the hurt, the hitbox. I think it did. It wasn't working in Shuton's favor, but at 159%, any Pikmin will do. Big rip. That was one of the nicest comebacks starting up right there. Actually able to get that entire stock without dying. But yeah, he's gonna, gonna get knocked out for game one. That's right. Spargo may be looking young, but he is like a mature player at heart. You gotta put some respect on Spargo. Shuton, I think he knows that, you know, this is this is not a player that you can actually like sleep on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got all of our wolf. We're not gonna make a switch this year. Definitely no need to. Both players did an excellent job. Just a little bit of adjustment. The adjustments coming through from Spargo might be able to take this. The way he was playing at that last stock, it, it was very clean. Just being able to sneak in that down smash and of course extended off the Pikmin. Right. And that was definitely caught everyone by surprise. So easy damage coming out from from Tucson, able to escape the second up air with his deep by extending the second jump. Right. And that's just something you gotta keep in mind when you're playing Olimar. You are going to take about 80 damage before you get to play. It's okay. Just accept it. Is it really okay though? I mean, it's not, but you okay. have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, caught his second jump, forced Ooh. to use the wolf flash, and now, of course, Bye. being put under pressure, rolling. Shuton gonna cast that roll. That's exactly what we were talking about earlier. Top players know that if you are super pressured off stage, you're going to panic roll and you're, um, you're gonna get up my force match. Wow, oh reading the jump and just taking on more damage on the Spargo. All right, once again, you're gonna take 80. It's okay, it's fine. This is still fine. Oh, but he doesn't have his jump, does he? No, he doesn't. Uh, no jump, forcing to use the directional air dodge just to uh, prevent himself from going into the blast zone. Spending all his resources. Okay, sometimes you're gonna lose two stocks before you get to play, but it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. You're still in this. Okay, 
Okay, well, um, I'm so, I'm actually surprised that like Spargo is still able to commit to nairing on top of Shukong with the amount of anti airs that Shukong is throwing out. And I was about to say, not to mention the parries that this man pulls out. Oh, especially the parries. He's still committing to these anti air options. Ooh, like, read read that dodge. Yeah, reading that air dodge, landing a down smash. We can see another down smash at the ledge. It does work. Oh my god, this is where Spargo comes alive. Last knock situation, he's ready to play. 85% on this man too, and those Pikmin just building a wall in Shukong right now. Yeah, that's what Shukong's really just gonna do. He's playing a little bit more defensive, Ooh. but at this point he doesn't need to approach. Throwing out a down air doesn't work. Ah. Shukong able to land back on stage with the forward air. Okay, Spargo working up this combo right now. It's a great whistle armor from Shutan to make sure he didn't get comboed anymore. Right, and now a forward air, and we're gonna see Spargo. Oh, get off me! Yeah, good wolf flash. Parrying that purple Pikmin he needed to parry that Pikmin. Ah, but that one gonna knock him out of position and put him in such a horrible spot right here, getting edge guarded. Oh, he's so lucky he didn't get forward tilted or something like that from Shutan. And that was such good Pikmin management from Shutan. He put right. it so that the red one would actually be uh, next in line after the aerial. Yeah, and either way, man, that's going to be the end of it. Great down air. He timed it just perfectly, knowing that the Pikmin will extend past the ledge a little bit. Will pass to come directly up. Right. What are you going to do? Right, ex exactly. I mean, but that is just the caliber of Shutan. I totally expect to see that, man.